Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome to Not A Tutorial Today. It's actually gonna be a little vlog, so let's check it out. Uh, I started off my day with heading over to the post office. It's something that I've been meaning to do, something that I wanted to do for a very long time, and I finally did it. I got myself a P.O. box. So if you guys wanna send me some stuff to review or some stuff to check out, I'll leave all the information in the description box below. So I ended up going over to Lowe's to pick up some stuff for my DIY slider. So uh, it's a project that's gonna be coming out in the near future. But if you wanna see some behind the scenes, go check it out on Instagram. I'm gonna be uploading a lot of stories and stuff like that on Instagram so you can see what I'm doing and stuff like that. I'll leave a link right here and also in the descriptions below. Now, the main reason why I wasn't able to come up with a tutorial this week is because I actually had a lot of things to do and also meetings. Actually, meeting. Yeah, meeting only one. So I had to go to this meeting and guess who I'm meeting? Western Digital. So expect to see some collaborations with Western Digital in the future. But what's cool is that they actually gave me some swag. So let's... All right, so here are a couple of boxes of stuff that they gave me. Is a mug. I love coffee, so this will work out to my benefit. Uh, the next thing is this cork book now I could upgrade from using this this is why I usually write my stuff on but now I could use this book instead which is pretty cool just you know regular book I already know what they are I just haven't opened them yet okay it is this is a pie drive pretty cool uh, 375 gigabytes uh, the reason why it's different is let me open this up and I'll show you so if you take a look at the connector underneath, uh, come on, focus. Anyway, if you take a look at the connector underneath, it's got a weird connector. You could actually use a regular USB, I think, on here. And it comes with some cables. All right, so that's uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna be using this. Even though it's 375 gigs, it's awesome for the Pi. It's gonna be enough uh, for me to store whatever I want. I don't know, I'm trying to put this back in. So this is actually what they call the compute center. And the version that they actually gave me is the bamboo version. Look how nice this thing looks. Look at that. And inside it's held by magnet clips. And it's got a one terabyte hard drive. Wait, is it this way? Yeah. And on top of that, it comes with cables, more cables, and a USB adapter, and I think this is a three amp adapter. So it should be able to power the hard drive and the Pi. And um, after which, uh, where we decided to have a meeting was very close to my favorite place in the world, which is Micro Center. And I, my main goal going there was just to pick up a Raspberry Pi Zero W. And obviously you can never go there and just buy one thing. It just never happens that way. So I ended up buying a ton of things. All right. So a bag of goodies. I'm just gonna pour it out and open them. I opened a few things already because I needed it, which is uh, camera equipment. I ended up getting a rubber hood lens. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna show you that. That's really cool. These guys I keep losing, okay? These are the covers that I keep losing and I purchased a few more of these things and they dangle right off the, they have a little strap that dangles right off the lens. What I ended up getting here was like a little rubber hood lens. So basically, this closes down and then you can push it up and it comes back up. Um, I've been taking a lot of portraits and photography and stuff like that. I'll put some pictures right here. And one of the things was it was having, I didn't upload the photos, but um, it was having a lot of lens flare and a little hood does help when the light comes in on an angle. So I needed to pick up one of these and then I picked up these little, I picked up a few of these for all different sizes of my lenses, the covers. Fat deck. And this is for uh, audio. It actually outputs 24 bits at not, uh, 192 kilohertz. Oh, next thing I ended up picking was this other guy. Uh, this is the Adafruit version of their speaker bonnet. So this is different from that fat deck because this own, this doesn't like create better audio. It just takes the audio that comes from the Pi itself and just turns it into a speaker. So this is, works very well for the Raspberry Pi Zero because it doesn't have speaker output, but this turns it into speaker output. Uh, the next thing I picked up was this thing called the Unicorn, which is something I kind of want to play with. It's again for the Raspberry Pi. Um, 
it's just LEDs and it's a four by eight matrix. That way I can actually put text in here and light them up and stuff like that. It's something I just wanted to play with. It looks pretty cool. The main reason why I went was uh, for this, the Raspberry Pi Zero W. That's the main reason why I went there. And then I ended up spending so much money for all the other stuff. But yeah, I mean, do you guys really need to know how it looks? It, looks just the same as any other Raspberry Pi. Another thing I picked up was this called the Pi Power Shim. Um, let me see if I can open this up. This is, uh, I have a bunch of these, but not directly made for the Pi. Uh, but this has this cool feature where if you have power plugged into a Pi, uh, it will run off that power. But if you have it unplugged, it'll automatically switch to a LiPo. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is something that you should always have in your arsenal now. If you don't have this guy, this is called the ESP8266 or the Node MCU. Uh, I use these for a lot of my new projects. Now, this is in, like a basically an Arduino board. Uh, let me see if I can pull it out. It's basically an Arduino board. It got all the pinouts and everything, but it's Wi-Fi enabled. So it so you could definitely use it for so many projects, including Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So the slider that I'm building is actually going to be using one of these guys. That's why I picked it up. Last but not least, well, it's not really last, but this is something that I needed to pick up just so I'm planning to build a Raspberry Pi Zero W computer and see how far I could take it or see how, I could, how much I could use it. Uh, one of the things that I really wanted to use was um, one of these USB hubs that plugs to directly to the bottom of the raspberry pi zeros so i want to check this out that's why i picked these up i picked up a couple of memory cards uh 32 gigabytes uh these are the really high speed i guess 80 megabyte transfer read speed or something like that so picked up a couple of these guys you know what we use them for raspberry pies and switches all right so the reason why i wanted that speaker thing and everything is I'm planning to build a little Game Boy or Pie Girl or whatever you want to call it. I'm planning to build one for myself because I really want to start traveling and I want to play those little games I used to play as a kid. That's why I ended up getting this auto uh, audio bonnet. I know I could just get a whole kit from Adafruit itself and then just build it that way, but I want to try it myself and see how it goes. And then if I fail, I'll just get a kit. Yeah, and then I got one of these. Um, I keep losing these. That's the problem. Like. I keep losing these um, filers and stuff like that. For 3D printing, this is a must. This is definitely a must. It's basically filers and it gives you all angles so you could like file it down and stuff like that. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If, let me know if you guys like this type of style of video or a vlog type video. Leave it in the comments below. If you do enjoy watching this, I can make more. It's actually a little bit easier for me and I could kind of plan the shots and I like to take this filming and stuff like that. So I enjoy doing it. But if you guys like it, I can make more. Let me know in the descriptions below. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. I don't normally do vlogs, but hit that little bell notification just so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.